everyone, we're going to solve 7x squared minus 5x equals 0. Then we're going to find the sum and the product of the roots to check our solution. So uh, let's look at what we have. We have this in standard form. Actually, standard form, if you want to, you could write it like this. In this case, because we, we've got to deal with this C here, our A is 7, our B is negative 5, and therefore our C is 0 right here. So now let's go ahead and factor this. I'm going to take that back out. But uh, factor out an X, you get 7X minus 5 equals 0. Now when you set this to 0, you get X equals 0. Uh, when you set this part to 0, you get 7x minus 5 equals 0. Add the 5, divide by 7, so you get x equals uh, 5 divided by 7. So those are your two solutions. All right, I'm going to take this back away. <clears throat> now, we're going to use our sum and product of roots to check that... Um, we can get our A back, our B back, and our C back. So this is going to be called solution 1. And this one will be called solution 2. So let's add our solutions up. Solution 1 plus solution 2 equals 0 plus 5 sevenths, which equals 5 sevenths. Now, that's supposed to equal negative B over A. So that tells me my A is 7. So that works out. Uh, my negative B is 5. That means my B is negative 5. So that works out. So now let's check the product. So for the product, we're going to do solution 1 times solution 2, which gives us 0 times 5 divided by 7, which is 0 divided by 7. So again, our C is going to be 0, uh, and this whole thing is just 0, but you want your A's to, um, to match up. So you want your A to be 7. You can put a 7 under there <coughs> if you want, but our C is 0, so that checks out. You always want your A's to match up, just to double check. All right, that's it. So our two solutions are correct. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.